What's good, YouTube, man? I done got myself in a little trouble. I can't believe it, man. Oh. I got stuck. I'm stuck, man. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Let me show y'all. property there's the church and i guess a member of the church or somebody i don't know they came and talking about oh we got to turn this in we got to call it in and it's gonna be thousands of dollars of damaged property and stuff and i don't know how this is thousands of dollars of damaged property i'm not sure i had no idea but yeah fun day what's good man i'm still stuck it's been about uh about two three hours now the tow truck he's finally here and uh he's gonna try to pull it from the back from the back of the trailer and so he's gonna hook up to the back of the trailer soon um he's gonna try to pull it from there and uh yeah try to get unstuck man and i'm gonna go ahead and uh make this delivery once i get unstuck make this delivery then i'm gonna go ahead head to the hotel that's what i'm gonna do Put it in, uh, take the brakes off. Yeah. Okay, 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 cool. 
street like just running on the highway and that was was causing the traffic and i was like what the hell and um i was i was just lost like what the hell is going on because like this dude is like literally in his drawers no shoes socks nothing just running around and then he ran up to my truck and he climbed on the hood i was like what the hell like yo what is you doing? And he jumped off the truck and he ran and he he climbed on top of the median and I was like, man, please don't let him cross that median because the cars on the other side of the highway were flying. It was no traffic. So people was going like the speed, which was like 70 miles an hour or more. So I was like, man, it's gonna be ugly. But he, he just sat on top of the median. I think, um, I think, well, hopefully the fire uh, department got a hold to him because they pulled up, like, right after he jumped off my truck, the fire department pulled up. So, hopefully they, they got, got a hold to him, man. But, yeah, it's, it's been one of those days, man. So, just hoping I can get un, unwedged. I feel like it's, it's pulling now. I feel like a little jerk. Yeah, it's pulling now. I feel it. Let me see. Yeah, it's 
push over. It's moving. get behind the trail I'm gonna turn the tires straight and I should be able to uh, be guided straight on up out of here look at that man Y'all later, man. What's good, YouTube, man? Here with another hotel review video. Um, I am in the Fairfield Inn and Suites uh, by Marriott. I am in Gadsden, Alabama. I'm at the Fairfield. It's been a long ass day crazy day uh but yeah let's get into this review man let's do it going straight into the restroom the bathroom see it's regular regular decla man a shower and tub situation mm. Couple towels, a little painting. Let's keep it moving. It's a small room, by the way. Had the bed, uh, king, two lamps in here, little TV, more paintings. Got this little chair from the early 80s. <laughs> hey, I just noticed like a lot of this furniture in here is like, it's kind of dated. Like, oh, like even like this type of wood uh, stuff is like, it's kind of old. You don't see that, see this that often, but you know, when you in uh, other little cities, little small towns and stuff, get what you can get, man. Get what you can get. Got a nice little mirror. Let's check this closet out, though, because you know you do not want nobody sneaking up on you, man. Let's look up in here. <coughs> Got a little ironing board up there. Mm -hmm. I still don't know what the hell this is. If you know what this is, leave a comment in the comment section. If you know what this is. I don't, I don't know. I still don't know. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, this is a small room. We got the Bibles in there. Dang, I just noticed it ain't like no extra charger ports or nothing by the bed. I'm used to having that, you know. Damn, it ain't even a, an alarm clock. Dang, that's crazy. No alarm clock. No alarm clock. No extra outlets. Let me see, is it one right here? Okay, it's one back there, a regular wall. 
regular wall outlet. Uh, let's check out this. Let's check out this microwave. Microwave's clean. Let's see. Refrigerator. Refrigerator is clean. Yeah, this is some old, old little furniture. That heavy ass wood. But now, let's get into it, man. Let's, matter of fact, let me pull my light out for this. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get into this bed situation, okay? You already know. You got this bed. It's a must. You pull them sheets back. It's a must. Don't even get too comfortable. Pull them sheets back. See what's going on, man. You have to. You're going to thank me later, man. Believe me. You know what I'm saying? Believe me. You're going to thank me later. It's an old ass chair, though. Let's look. Let's look. Let's see. Okay. Bed and pillows looking pretty clean. A little basic headboard situation. Yeah. This is it, man. This is it. It's not much to this room. It's very small, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's a clean room. I already checked out downstairs. Um, they don't. I don't think they have a pool. At least I didn't see one. They do have a, a, a like a little fitness center. It's only like three cardio machines and uh, a bunch of free weights. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Man. So it, I didn't really uh, feel the need to to show that at all. But um yeah man, this is the Fairfield in Gadsden, Alabama. I heard somebody walking past though. I was like, what the hell? But yeah, Fairfield in Gadsden, Alabama. Hotel review. Um uh, let me know what you think about this hotel room, man. Is it small? Is it just right? Uh, let me know about this old ass furniture. Do you like the furniture? The, uh, the dresses and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Like, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, I'm giving all type of con uh, content. And that's it. Yo!